Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your reading now from, from now until the end of October. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that this reading is for somebody. Could be one person. Could be ten people. Could be a thousand. You might not be in that mix. So keep that in mind. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Four of Cups. You may be looking for more. Maybe you're not receiving the attention that you want or you're not getting what you want or you're not accepting an opportunity. Something could go either way, right? Let's see what comes up with it. Ooh, okay. So somebody... <laughs> doesn't have the confidence that they need at this time. Not using their creativity to their fullest potential. Wanting more, but not really taking the action that is, needs to be taken. You may have a loss of drive, loss of ambition at this time. Needing to put in more effort. This is work harder. Put in more effort. Hard work is needed to be successful. Maybe you've lost your vision. Do you remember what your vision was? What is your vision for the future? Do you remember? Ah, yee. Oh, come on now. So, you guys have lost your fire. Right? I mean, the Four of Wands reversed. It's like the passion inside of you is dying for something. Have you lost your commitment to succeed? Because this four of wands, that's a commitment. You have to put in effort. You have to refine that commitment to succeed. To follow your visions. It takes commitment. There's a lot of discontent no matter what. Okay? Both. Discontent, discontent. And you're discontent because you've lost your focus. You, you've, you've lost your ambition. You've lost your drive. Put in some more effort. Work a little harder. I'm, I'm, you know, I know nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that you have to work harder. But it's a fact. It's a true fact. And we've all heard it. Mm. Repression. Holding it in. Keeping this inside of you. Going through a repression, it's like you feel, there's like a loss of self, okay? Please, if you don't know tarot, before this card came up, I think, I, if I didn't say it, I, I may have said loss of self. You've lost your vision, same thing. That's what this card means, loss of self.
Forgiveness is needed. And maybe it's it's not even about forgiving other people. Maybe it's about forgiving yourself. Because you're connected to this card. This is also a card of awakening. It's a wake-up call. Work a little bit harder. Put in more effort. It's time to wake up from your sleep. Okay? Time to wake up from this repression. This is secrets. This is secrets. The only person holding yourself back is you. Uh-oh. Negative thinking. You know, you've all heard the thoughts, I am. Or the phrase, I am. I am. I am what I think. I am. There's a lot of unhappiness. Unhappiness. There's an unhappiness here that's holding you back. Those are your own thoughts. The only person that can make you happy is you. It's time to take action. Fast action. Immediate action right now. Right now. Now, 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 now. Communicate how you feel. Communicate your truth. Forgive yourself right now. Put in effort to forgive yourself. Release. Wake up from whatever it is that you're going through right now. Love yourself. These are the rods of love pointing up at you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just got done saying. The only one that can make you happy is you. And that is the damn fucking truth. Okay? Those rods of love are pointing at you. But you're not thinking clearly because you're in reverse. You need to wake up. The only person who can make you happy is you. It's time to be practical. It's time to work hard. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. And you will receive. People will appreciate it. You'll receive an increase of emotional support. Let your friends help you. You could also be receiving some help from one of your friends or somebody. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. You could be receiving some sort of gift or some sort of something from somebody. And that helps you. But overall, this king, of, this king of Pentacles is telling me that you need to work really, really hard to bring joy, because this is a card of joy, to your life. To bring joy to your life.
This card right here is release the past. It is. Judgment is about releasing the past, forgiving the past, forgiving anybody who hurt you. Anybody. Forgive them, release it, accept it, and be happy. Give yourself a gift of forgiveness. Gift, forgiveness. Gift, release. It's a gift when you let go and you release. Trust me, it is. The relief from that release is a true gift. Don't hold on to negativity or grudges or anything that is stealing your power, hindering your creativity. Release it. Woohoo! Have you lost faith? If you don't have faith and you don't believe, you are screwed. Screwed. You don't believe in yourself? Look at where I put the fucking card. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. I know a lot of you aren't going to like that, but I can't. It's whatever comes out, comes out. I put it, and I put, you never know where I'm going to throw these cards down. You don't believe in yourself. You have lost faith. You are not listening to your inner guide fully. Maybe you're not listening to anybody. Because this is a teacher. We all can be taught. None of us knows it all. Somebody has something to teach you. Whether it's your inner guide or God or whoever. Could be anybody. Could be a person in this lifetime. Somebody has something to teach you and you are not listening. Period. You're not listening. And if you don't listen ever, then you're going to continue to be discontent and feel alone. You have to be able to learn new things. Learn new skills. We all, this is this is this guy's is a kid, okay? And I'm but I'm not saying that you're a kid, okay? I'm saying that you need to realize that there's always things to be learned, always, throughout your whole lifetime. It's gonna you're gonna have to learn how to refocus again. Back at square one. Okay, back at square one. Start over at the beginning. Sorry for snapping my fingers. Whatever comes out, comes out. It's time to take charge and start over. New. And we realize that you're going to have to learn new skills. New things. And one of those things that you're really going to have to learn along this way is faith and trust in yourself. Who is this, this king of coins? This man. We got this man here who may have some sort of gift. You could, you could, I mean, this could be some sort of celebration of some sort of party. Who is this man? Ooh.
This could be a man that has brought you down. I'm not sure. This is no growth. No passion. Maybe this because a man's looking at, sees that you have lost your passion. You see where I put it? It's underneath. He's looking down at it. This man sees that you have lost your fire. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. The devil. Oh, jeez, I'm cold. You could have some addictions here. You and that could be, you could have some addictions that are affecting your ability to put in effort. There could be, this man could see that you're sabotaging yourself. This is sabotage. This is like work sabotage. This is sabotage. You may have some addictions or some sort of obsessions or something that is very not good for you. That is, is stealing your ability to focus and find passion and fire within you. It's stealing your power, stealing your fire. There's something getting in the way. The devil brings nothing good. Okay? Nothing. No growth. The devil doesn't bring growth. The devil brings situations that hinder you into your life. Okay, they do. They hinder your growth. The devil brings substances or <laughs> lust or anything that isn't good for you into your life. But there's still some hope, right? Thank you, God. There's hope. If you can have some faith. This is a card of faith. It's a miracle. You could receive some sort of miracle. Maybe somebody comes in to help you and it is a freaking miracle. It's a blessing. Now, <laughs> this is from heaven. I'm getting the goosebumps now. And this is from hell, right? The devil's from hell. So we got heaven and hell. And that makes complete sense connected to this card. Interesting. So it looks like, I think, and this is somebody from the other side. The judgment is often somebody from the other side. So somebody from the other side could be coming to help you and bringing somebody into your life that is going to help you get out of this situation that you are in that is sabotaging you. You are in a, I think it's self-sabotage. I'm, I'm sorry, but I do. Because I see all the negative thinking here. I see a lot of negativity that's coming from you. I'm sorry to say I'm not going to lie. Or they wouldn't trust me to do this. Simple as that. There's an opportunity for to get some help from above. It looks like you're gonna get some some help, and they're gonna somebody's coming to help because you're not in a, the right state of mind. And this is very negative thinking, and you can't seem to get out of it. And I know there'll be somebody that says I'm that high vibrational Sagittarius. Well, then why do you need to comment? If you are that high vibrational and you had to defend yourself. On the last one, I said defending yourself constantly. <laughs> it's That's a hypocritical move right there. <laughs> oh, people right underneath it, you know, defending the video, you know, defending themselves. That say, you know, it's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You couldn't, you know, if you're that high vibrational Sagittarius, then you don't need to defend yourself underneath in the comments. That was a hypocrite. A couple people did it. I was like, oh my fucking God.
pessimistic, low confidence. This is a level of confusion and you need some help. And you, it looks like somebody sees it. See that now I just see those eyes. Somebody sees that you need some help. Whether it's somebody from the other side that is bringing somebody on the earthly plane in to help you or that's what this is. I'm not even going to pretend this. I know that's what this is. Because you are not stable and secure at this time. And it feels like your finances may be dwindling and you need some help. And because you haven't taken the courage, or you haven't found the courage, you haven't taken the lead, you haven't taken the action that you need to take to face your fears, because this is about fears, it is. There's going to be some sort of Well, this is a completion, right? This is a the end. It needs to come to an end. There needs to be an end to this instability and insecurity and fear of the unknown and lack of vision and lack of drive and self-sabotage. There needs to be an end. You see the target on that back. There's a target and you may feel like there's been a target on your back. It's time for you to shed that skin. Stand up and shed that skin. Grow some new skin. You have the ability to take that target right off your back by growing some new skin. The target's been hit. It has. But the storm is now over because it's already been hit. The target's been hit. All you can do now is stand up. Go ask for help to take those swords out of your back. Go ask for some help. Let somebody help you. Let them help you. You won't be able to get them by yourself. You need some help to get those swords out of your back. You do. Let somebody help you. It's time for you to, to dream. It's time for you to lighten up. It's time for you to open your heart again. It's time to face your fears, face the unknown. All is not as it seems. It's not as it seems. 
Even though you think you think you know how, how it is, but it ain't. There's something going on behind the scenes, and I think that there is somebody that is coming to help, and I think there's a cycle in your life that is going to end when you are able to ask for help or accept help, one or the other. Ask or accept help. Victory and success is going to come. Progress is going to be made. You have to be confident. You have, you have the strength to succeed. You do, you do. And I think that somebody recognizes your nobility. They do, they do. I think a lot of people do. A lot of people recognize your nobility. And that's why you are being, you are going to receive some sort of blessing. You are. Because of who you are, right? You may be reluctant to let people help you. But relief is coming. Do I see new love? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Not going to pretend that there is like everybody else says. Okay. Maybe, they, maybe whatever. I don't see any love in these cards. <laughs> Do you? You could probably pretend that there is, like, whoever might, uh, whatever. I don't see it. Right now, it's about you coming out of this repression that you've been in. So that you can have that Ace of Cups that you've been dreaming about. You have to love yourself and you have to be upright. To be successful in love, period. End of story. So let's see what we get from this. Do I see a new opportunity in love? No, I don't. I see that you guys, um, you could be even getting out of a commitment, okay? There could even be a divorce with this card. I mean, there could be. There's, there's a, a need to pull that, them swords out of your back. Hold your head up high. Be proud of who you are. Accept help from others. Forgive and release the past. Work a little bit harder on yourself. Don't let other people bring you down. Remember who you are. And you are going to receive some sort of blessing at the end of this month. That is going to aid you in your own success. Okay? So be prepared to receive some sort of help. But you're going to have to put in effort. Start putting in effort if you haven't, which I know a lot of you have been. Put in effort right now. Not that you haven't been because I know that you have. This is lack of commitment. And this is work a little bit harder. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. 
Yeah, things may not go the way you want them to go. And that's a problem, right, Sagittarius? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And there could be, there's, there's somebody in this dynamic, I don't know who it is, that is bringing you down. Okay? But you're allowing it. Okay? So, I mean, we do have a Capricorn a couple times. You have Capricorn here, Capricorn here. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Pisces. Um, doesn't really matter who we have because it could be any sign. But there's a situation that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Could be any sign, but I know if I don't say them, somebody will say something, whatever. Anyway, um, relief is coming, okay? Relief is coming. I see that you may be reluctant to let go of control issues. Surrender. Surrender. Surrender to God. Surrender to the plan. Surrender to whoever it is that's helping you. Believe in yourself and have faith and trust in the universe, please. Because they do have the, your back and they are working behind the scenes in your favor. They want you to trust. And they want you to pull yourself out of this funk. Even if that means asking for help. Sometimes you need that help. But that's, it's you that takes that step to do so, right? In the end, there's going to be a celebration. This is the outcome, Three of Cups. There's going to be a celebration. You're going to receive some sort of gift. You are going to receive a gift from somebody that is going to help. could come right around the full moon could come after the full moon I don't know but you have to put in effort so you know that's a big deal put in effort the eight of pentacles if you don't put in effort the to have faith and trust and believe and to open your heart and whatever trust that they're working for you you know you have to have faith and trust if you don't put in effort then there may not be any new beginning I mean you know I what can I say you have to put in effort they aren't going to do all the work for you Receive, receive, receive with love and appreciation. Oh my God. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Somebody's going to give you something, Sagittarius. Prove that you're worthy. Prove that you're worthy. Remember what I said at the beginning. I am. I am perfect. I am beautiful. I am love. I am strong. I am focused. I am confident. I am ready. I am worthy. I am wise. I am love. I can do anything. I am happy. 
I am positive. I am grateful. Talk to you next time.